Good morning guys, how's it going? It's getting brighter and brighter, there's a whole lot of rain on the weekends. <sighs> anyway, on discipline, this is more I guess about personal discipline um, and consistency in kink. Now why has this come up is because I've been looking around this morning as I'm walking and I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, doing their boot camps. Um, going out and doing exercises, a lot more people than I would see otherwise in winter. <laughs> it's coming up to summer, it is summer, um, so people are, you know, exercising furiously to get those bikini bods and beach bods or whatever it is. And it brought into my mind, well, if you consistently change, like you know, had an actual real lifestyle change and you had a consistent workout throughout the whole year there wouldn't be this last ditch frenzy to you know diet and lose weight or go to boot camps all the time and you know I, I can't help thinking that's probably a lot better for your body um, to have consistency with a bit of challenge every now and again when you do your sessions how does this translate into kink well it also got me thinking about how you know, this is all part of, you know, being personally disciplined to actually integrate that into your life um, to start off with. But then it becomes a habit. So then you don't have to have as much discipline to do it other than just to get up and get started. Rather than get up, get started and go through the whole thing and do all this and that. Your brain will hardwire itself into um, whatever's more efficient. So, an example, my morning walks. I started them years ago with the one or two days I'd get off early and start walking then I went you know what stuff it and walk it every day and so now I feel kind of odd when I don't actually have my morning walk as opposed to uh, the effort it takes to actually do it every day um, having said that I don't walk seven days a week I walk like five days a week or whenever I go into work because it's become a part of the routine there um, the discipline of establishing a good routine um, and keeping it, but allowing flexibility to make adjustments for, you know, life events, whatever happens and all that. How this applies to kink is that um, long ago I realised that there were not a lot of, you know, dominant personality or actual real dominant people that would be able, that I, you know, I'd be able to be with because of the simple fact they lack consistency everything was pretty much off the cusp or really not quite my style because it'd be micromanaged to death or it'd be session based um, dominance where it was just I think this is a kind of a cool thing to do everyone else is doing it I'll do that to assert my dominance more of a domineering kind of a thing this is one of the also one of the reasons why to me very very few females um, are dominant enough uh, they lack consistency um, they lack the ability to go right this is an emotional thing I'm going to separate that emotional thing from this actual practical or this actual situation and deal with that such as you know um, punishments quite a few will punish uh, in anger which is not a good thing because then it's like an associated reaction for you to automatically do when something is displeasing but then also if you cannot express the reason for anger and the quite corrective disciplines for it then all you're doing is a basically a, a capital punishment style of something goes wrong you react you issue corporal punishment and then that's it there's no corrective action that's not my style so discipline to have the consistency to maintain a long-term relationship is also very difficult because you have the discipline to be able to stay the course but also have enough flexibility to change things up a little bit every now and again so that things don't get stale one of the best things to help with that is to actually have some some kind of a life outside of the kink world so the DS is there always underlying like when you actually have a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or whatever they're always there regardless of whether you're actually in their presence or not so actually going out and doing things separately 
and having parts of your own life that the other partners know about but they don't necessarily get intimately involved with is also a good thing because it means that you get fresh perspective on things you have a, a, a little bit of something for yourself um, and something to talk about with the others if you feel or feel or want the need to and share and you know it keeps things fresh so that's kind of my perspective on it so do you have the discipline to be consistent in your life and in what ways um, what ways you would like to be more consistent what ways you like to be more flexible um, how, what sort of things do people use in order to maintain that discipline? Some of it is establish a routine, um, things like writing notes down, writing lists on stuff to do um, on like a Sunday or every day, like saying Sunday. I think it was Joe Rogan. This is every Sunday he spends maybe an hour running down all the things he'd like to do that week. Um, but he keeps it flexible, say, um, I'd like to work out or go to yoga three times a week. He doesn't specifically put what time, but as long as he gets them done three times in a week, he's happy. You know, tick, tick off every time you go. See what can fit around it. Um, be more efficient in what you do. And uh, you can get a lot more done. Morning, cat. Me, I'm still working that out because there's a few things that I can do, other things that are dependent on other people, other things that I need to delegate out or just trust in that they'll get things done. That's one of those things. <laughs> it's that control aspect of letting go of control. It's not always easy, even if you're a sub. Because, you know, bitch got to have a life, but you got to figure out which areas you want to give over control to. Anywho, that's it for was it Tuesday. Oh my God, it's so close to Christmas. Ah, I'll be getting some goodies this weekend. Some honey and some honey products from the honey shed lovely Jim and Louise such sweeties and pork from Luke and maybe some other things oh yes disposable not disposable reusable produce bags that you can put stuff in when you go to um, when you go to the shops instead of using those little plastic bags to put like your fruit and veg in put these in you can rewash them and put them in the fridge and all that sort of stuff it's really cool yeah it costs more money to buy stuff from at the bush and I think these ones are getting down from Tasmania but you know trying to support our local industry and all that which is really cool in fact one post I think I shared that actually put a stop on all Christmas orders saying you know we'll still take orders if you don't mind having them after Christmas but we're absolutely flat out for Christmas which is awesome because they use they reuse or re um, upcycle produce bags I'll produce bags into like shopping bags, wine bags, and all sorts of other stuff. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, on discipline and consistency. What do you do to get things consistent? Okay, I better go now. Rambled on enough. Bye bye. Love yous.